Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I am bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's festive project of velvet skirt. When it comes to skirts, there are endless designs, but when you make any of them out of velvet, they instantly become festive. Velvet skirts are perfect for the holidays because of the luxurious sheen the fabric adds to a streamlined design. When it comes to design choices, you can find velvet in every color of the rainbow, in everything from light to heavyweight, and additional texture like crinkle velvet or stretch velour. Looking at high-end options from ready to wear, you can see that this one from Bowdoin is chic and elegant with just a few pleats at the waist. This one from Tuckernock features a really festive and unique stripe velvet, giving it a more festive and fun style. And this one from Anthropology has a laid back and casual vibe with a smocked waistband and gathered tears. The one thing that all of these do have in common though is their high waist and midi length. So no matter your style, finding a pattern that sits at the natural waist and is hemmed to just below the knee all the way down to the lower shin is what will give your velvet skirt the holiday touch it needs for any festive event this year. Let's take a closer look at the Tuckernuck version as that's the one that has inspired me today. Okay, so for our velvet skirt inspiration, I absolutely fell in love with this one from Tuckernuck. It is their multicolor velvet stripe Alba skirt, retails for $168. And as you can tell, and I'll confirm with the description, that it is just an elastic waist skirt. Not, nothing too crazy, right? Um, pull on style, and it's also lined. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the fabric um, in a second, but I mean, really, you guys, we're just making an elastic waist skirt here. You probably already have a sewing pattern for it. When I went shopping for sewing patterns, I was really trying to find sorry, trying to find something that was like wider than usual and like swishy. Can you see how much volume there is at the kind of the bottom of this skirt? The length is really kind of subjective. You can obviously, you know, hack a pattern to make it longer or shorter. Um, this one's described as a midi length. It really, I mean, it's really hitting at her ankle. It's, it's on the way longer end of midi, bottom shin for sure. So the pattern I settled on was Butterick 6749. As you can see from the line drawings, this is an elastic waist skirt and it is very full. All right, we have the version that's just one layer. We also have the, um, the tiered version. Um, so it's great versatility for future projects. Um, it does have pockets, which I don't think the Tucker Nuck one had. What a travesty. Um, but can you see how full it is? This is the tiered one, so it's kind of even more full. But there's a lot of folds in this. You know, it's, it's definitely wide on her hips, which is what I was really trying to hone in on with this pattern. Okay, those are the only photos that we get. Here is the back of the envelope. We do get the sizing is extra small to medium and then large to 2X. Honestly, I imagine the pattern pieces are rectangles. Um, so you can even fudge with that. Sizing on this is what I'm, what I'm trying to say is sizing on this is kind of not a big deal because it's really easy to alter, very forgiving in the sizing department. Okay, so they're recommending gauze, georgette, voile, and jerseys. Um, definitely lightweight, flowy fabrics. Velvet's probably not usually considered a lightweight, flowy fabric, but because ours is on that sheer black overlay with colorful velvet stripes. So it's more of a sheer fabric. So as we scroll down here, you can see it really is put on a sheer fabric, probably polyester. And then the velvet is applied somehow on top. So that's what kind of gives it its flowiness. Um, and then the lining they're calling for cotton blends or voile. I'm gonna suggest something like a polyester satin. 
but a cotton blend I think would be a little bit too stiff. I like for my linings to kind of match the feeling of my, my cell fabric and the cell fabric for velvet is gonna be a little bit more slippery. And so that's what I was trying to find some kind of like rayon or satin or something like that to do for the lining. Okay, so all you need is one and a half yards of elastic for this. And then uh, fabric requirements, we have, which one are we doing? We're doing C. So C is two and a quarter yards, not too shabby. Um, depending on how tall you are also, you could probably get away with two yards if you're a little bit shorter. I think these are, if I remember correctly, Butterick is designed for people who are five, six, I think. Double check me, um, fact check me if I'm wrong there. And then all the finished garment measurements, they're not going to give us anything helpful here, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too far off. What you're looking for is something with like 10-ish inches of ease. You can definitely go up from there because our fabric is gonna be so kind of drapey and like falling in on the body. Okay, so speaking of fabric, I was desperate to try and find a fabric just like our inspiration here. I'm obsessed with this fabric. Um, it is velvet stripes on, as we've already said, on Kind of like a mesh so i searched high and low for like a burnout situation high and low for just velvet stripes high i mean i really scoured the internet these colors of like blue and bronze and like a little bit of red in there i mean i i was really 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 trying this is as close as i got <laughs> we have fashion fabrics club who has this gray stripe burnout stretch polyester spandex velvet knit fabric for $12 a yard. And it does come in some pretty holiday colors, even black. Um, but I mean, you guys can tell it's not, it's still beautiful, right? And if I hadn't maybe seen the Tucker Nook fabric, I would have been like, oh, this is great. Um, but it's not quite it. Um, this is a 92% polyester, 8% spandex. Our version is rayon nylon, no spandex, and then the 100% polyester lining. Um, where were we? So not quite the same there. It does have some stretch in it. Um, stripe burnout stretch, blah, 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 60 inches, light to medium, semi sheer, horizontal stretch, slight vertical stretch, moderate bias stretch, very lustrous. So that's option one, and I'll go back to all the colors again. This champagne color is really pretty. Then I went to Etsy and I found these from a shop in Germany. I, I don't know how great all of the shipping is. I don't know even how long it would take you. And they have these. So I liked this colorway the best. It is $8.44 a yard. So that's reasonable. We don't get a ton of great photos of this, but you can see there's like a little bit of a sheer part and then you have the velvet stripes. Um, it's just not as clean as our inspiration being as our inspiration just has the single color on every stripe. This one's almost like the stripes are printed also, which is cool. And I do like how they're variegated, how all the stripes aren't even. But I don't know that it's going to give you that holiday, you know, that quintessential holiday look. But then I went to Stylemaker Fabrics and I found this one. It's a repeating mini stripe stretch velvet in multi. We don't get a ton of information from them other than it does have 60% stretch. 57% um, wide poly spandex blend and would be suitable for skirts. Yeah, and then we just get this other photo. So as you can see, I didn't find anything great. And that's so disappointing to me because I really pride myself on being able to find these things. But I did, I do think we got close. And I do think if you made one out of any of these fabrics, you would be still looking fabulous, which is kind of the whole point. Thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this velvet skirt sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. It is a super simple pattern in a somewhat tricky fabric, but I know you can do it. 
I do. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we'll be creating a cocktail dress. I cannot wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion sewing. See you soon. Bye!